Hi everyone, uh, Phil Ivaniuk here, OPM staff writer. Um, the time is 16.43. Correct in terrible at like this. Um, and I am about to embark on a 24 hour race of Circuit de Sarth um, in Le Mans. And I'm going to be uh, keeping a little video diary to see how I'm getting on. You can have a look at how my face just decomposes with agony and exhaustion. Um, I've also got a number of energy drinks to keep me going um, and not a lot else. So, uh, see you on the flip side. Uh, so, I'm an hour in. It's a wet race. Good. Um, it's, it's been in incredibly hard. Um, the visibility is just insane when the cars were all bunched up together. Um, haven't seen any of those cars for a while. Spent most of the time in 12th. I managed to claw my way back up to 5th. I just absolutely rinsed my first set of tyres, skidding around all over the place. Um, uh, I'm going wide through a chicane right now. Yeah, the rain's just making it really difficult. Um, but yeah, fifth place so far, and when I get the tyres, nice new set, fresh, fresh set of tyres, it should be fine. Not feeling too tired either, slight pain in my back, but I'm sure that won't be a problem in 23 hours' time. So, let's see how it goes. Uh, right, we're four hours in. Um, it's still raining, so that's really defined the action. Um, I am in first place, and I'm up by one lap on N. Petridis. He's closely followed by P. Munch. Don't rule out uh, K. Reeves in fourth place, though, presumably the K stands for Keanu. Um, basically, I've just been churning out the quality laps. What can you say while well, I've still got a bit of uh, thought left in my head? Just been uh, trying to develop a bit of a lead so that later on I can just. Uh, I've just crashed. Uh, so, six hours in. Um, I can't tell you how annoyed I am at how long it rained for. It's ridiculous. I've never in real life been subjected to five and a half hours of unbroken torrential rain like that. It's so hard to see anything. It's finally finished, there's still tons of standing water on the ground. But at least the rain's over, so I'm putting on some hards. Um, the racing's been um, non-eventful. I'm still in first. Still got about one lap on the second place, man. I'm hoping so anyway. Um, had a disastrous in-lap just now. Completely wore out my tyres. Uh, so it's a bit of a slog at the moment. I'm starting to feel pretty tired. I was actually feeling pretty tired before I even started this. Um, but I'm um, getting it through by sort of rewarding myself with things like when I hit six hours, I'll take my trainers off because they're hurting. Things like that. Or once I hit 90 laps, I'll crack open another Mars refuel. You know, sounds depressing, and it is. Just going to uh, explain the bathroom situation while I'm here taking a, a pit stop. Literally a pit stop in the game, I'm not doing away. Um, although the two are connected, basically, I figured out that I've got about enough time to do a full refuel. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds to fill my cast tank so that I can run upstairs and empty mine. It's full of sugary energy drink. It doesn't do much good. Okay, 10 hours in. This is hell. Just hell. Um, for a good two hours, I was just bowing away to try and reclaim first, and I managed it as well. Um, just some of the more intense lap battles of my gaming career. It was actually pretty fun, it was keeping me awake, just chugging away at this one guy. Trying to get from third back up to, actually from second back up to first. And uh, just can't focus on the game anymore. With every little straight or every moment that you don't have to focus completely. It's might as well not be looking at anything. So anyway, I've run out of fuel. Um, so for th 
three quarters of a lap and reduced to 50 miles an hour speed. And uh, just watching all that progress. It whittled away basically. It's pretty galling. So I'm at 12 hours, big halfway point. And uh, I actually feel alright. Um, I've been singing 99 Red Blues to myself for the past hour. So that's helped. Um, sleep deprivation is doing crazy things to my head. Like I've started to associate certain corners on the track with. It's hard to explain. So the first section of the track is like a lot of long sweeping corners with big sand traps. So I've got this story going on, this little internal dialogue about a young man who's um, got into some sort of trouble with gambling and then a wise old Frenchman who's, <laughs> I know how crazy it sounds, but I'm basically I'm sort of dreaming as I'm going along around the track and each, each corner is just a little different stimulus to set me off. So. So then there's the yeah there's, there's the one section with the uh, the young gambling man, um, another section later on, a series of quite technical corners. For some reason, I'm associating them with like Blue Peter, that sort of thing. Um, like they're all made out of sticky back plastic and paper mache. And... It's out fourteen. Um, not a lot to report in the race. Again, I'm first. I'm just one lap ahead of the other guy. Um, in terms of how my head's doing, I went through like a really nice second wind actually. Um, I started listening to music, I tried it in the night and I couldn't concentrate because there was too much to look at with the rain and the darkness and stuff. And uh, yeah, I listened to a bit of music and it was like the first man ever hearing a song, it was incredible, it made me so happy. So <laughs> that got me through a good hour of just bliss. Um, now, I still feel sort of alright actually, I feel better than I did during the night, like 6 to 10 hours, it was a particular slog, that was a bit of a wall. Um, so 10 hours left, I'm not really relishing the prospect to be honest, but it's doable, um, track's completely light now, that was another nice transition. What else has happened? I feel like I didn't choose my food particularly well. Um, like I can feel a new spot on my face every time I touch it. I've eaten so much absolute crap, like chocolate and energy drinks and bits of chicken. Um, so that's taking its toll. You know when you've been doing the one thing for so long that any other activity in the entire world seems like a better idea? Been listening, I don't know whether it actually, this is a side note, I don't know whether it's actually more of a challenge to play Grand Turismo for 24 hours or listen to Radio 1 for 6 hours straight. Greg James on Radio 1 has been going on about that trick you do where you put your mobile phone to your mouth and use your mouth like a, a wire pedal, and that is all I want to do. Hello, uh, this is 18 hours now, I feel like I've reached a state of zen, to be honest, it's all just scenery in front of me, I'm not really concentrating on it. Um, radio's been doing its job, that's been enjoyable, um, been concentrating on that far more than the actual race. The good news, oh, little collision there with the guy who I think is second place, who you of course remember as uh, N. Petridis. Um, yeah, the good news is I'm two laps up on him now, so uh, everything's coming together nicely. Six hours to go, it's just going to be more of this really. I can't imagine the positions are going to change across the board, so uh, for everyone that's been following the race, uh, Keanu Reeves, you'll remember from his first mention about 17 hours ago, he's, he's pretty much locked into fourth place. Um, and P. Munch, an early contender, who I think I was training for a long time, is uh, all but certain to be in third place. And uh, yeah, I'm looking good for the win. Not much else to report. The car looks ridiculous. Um, it's incredibly dirty. It, 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 there doesn't seem to be like an upper cap on how much dirt the car can have on it, so it just looks like it's been lost in a drain for years and years now. 
Um, so, also, I feel dirty. I could do with a shower. I'd really like a shower. That might be one of the first things I do when all this is over. But, um, it, it's weird, I think, just having the sun out and the radio on, I, I don't feel particularly tired. My hands are still hurting, my back's feeling a bit dodgy. But, um, other than that, I can't complain too much. I'm not as bad a state as I was in uh, last night when I was basically dreaming different scenes in each corner, so. All is well at 18 hours. Hello! 20 hours! Uh, four left, 20 down. Um, I, I still feel fine, it's weird. I don't feel that tired. Um, the race hasn't changed, at I'm barely paying attention to the race anymore, to be honest. It's, I'm just sitting here, the race is happening, it's pretty much doing itself. My body's just taking care of it. Um, you know, what's more to say, I'm four laps up now. I think victory is pretty much guaranteed. Um, you might well be eating those words in four hours time. Um, I, I feel good, I don't know whether it's the Mars refuel, whether it's Scott Mills' uh, se sexy and sophisticated Friday night mixing um, or something else, I don't know, but uh, all's good here. Um, just trying to think of anything else has really happened. Just trying to beat my fastest time that I set um, quite a while ago. Set it on lap 242, going on lap 308. 22! That is to say, 22 hours in. Um, it hit me. Everything hit me at about 21 hours. Like the time I started going backwards. I stopped being able to recognize each corner. I couldn't concentrate to figure out where I was on the track and how to prepare for each corner. It just all, all came at once, basically. Um, kind of better now. Just did a lot of blinking. Um, but it was, it was a hairy hour right there. Um, still don't feel like incredibly tired, like I don't feel like I want to sleep, I just feel like I want to stop playing this. <laughs> it's a different kind of fatigue. Um, but, just two left. I am four laps up now on second place. Petridis in his bent lead, Le Mans car. So, barring disaster, or me just falling asleep and forgetting and playing the game, um, it's looking good for the win. I'm just going to give you a, a quick review of the KX Energy, actually based on my initial impressions of the drink. K and X, of course, being two of the most energised and extreme letters of the alphabet. The good thing about it is that it claims to offer B vitamins in addition to taurine and caffeine, which is what I'm really looking for at this point, to be honest. But the B vitamins will certainly do no harm, unlike the other two. Um, so. For about a second and a half, it tastes like, like Red Bull, like Monster, like everything else. The aftertaste is unquestionably and unmistakably soap. It's soapy. I don't know whether that's the B vitamins, whether it's actual soap. Uh, it feels cleansing. Got an update on that cheeky bastard, Petridis. And he got an unlatched himself when I was uh, slightly distracted putting in some fairly poor times and giving you the energy drink review so it's now my mission in the remaining two hours to track him down and get those four laps on him again as he deserves. 23 hours now, um, it's against the cadence of what we've been doing so far in, in two hourly segments but I thought it was worth doing because we're so close to the end. Um, that KX stuff really kicked in um, for better or worse. I've been jabbering like a madman to my housemate Simon. It's been very good through the whole ordeal looking after me. Um, I, f I feel terrible, to be honest. I'm not doing too well at trying to, I thought, use the last hour to try and beat your uh, beat your lap time. I don't think I'm going to manage that. I just haven't got it in me. I'm just crawling around the place. 
Um, I also haven't caught bloody, what's his name, have I? Petridis in second place. So he's still three laps down instead of four. That's going to stick in my craw when I finally go to sleep. Um, I guess I should just be grateful that I'm winning. Because if, if the conditions were the other way around, if I had to deal with darkness and rain now, I just wouldn't be able to do it. 24. I am almost finished. There's 1 minute 29 left on the clock. Completed 370 laps. I doubt I'll finish this lap that I'm on in time. I'm in first position. And unless I just park up and get out of the car, I've won it. I'm three laps ahead of Petridis, my uh, chief adversary for the past 24 hours. Uh, Munch, as, as speculated, is going to finish in third ahead of Keanu Reeves in fourth. Um, in fact, the standings have been pretty concrete for the past 16 hours. So, um, I think I'm going to feel too tired to really celebrate. There's 42 seconds left. I'll give a countdown, I guess, of like 10 or something. I, just, I don't really feel any sense of achievement or anything. I'm just going to be incredibly happy to move my legs, um, not ever race the circuit again. 25 seconds left. It's been a... Oh, okay. We're nearly at the 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I think I need to finish the lap. I do need to finish the lap. It's a good job that I did have those laps <laughs> in my pocket. <laughs> what a fucking moron. <laughs> I did say, short of parking up and getting out, I'd won it. Well, I almost did. I was stationary on the track just then. Um, oh, he's only. He's a, Petridis has just unlapped himself. He's on two laps now. He's going to end up winning it. <laughs> Fannying around with this. I've crossed the finish. The words, the words finish have appeared on the screen. I have I have finished. I can confirm that I finished. And I was four laps up on him anyway. I can't Oh 